new generation of spacesuit for humanity's return trip to the moon has been unveiled by NASA. The novel design comes with specialist features to support astronauts as they conduct scientific experiments on the lunar surface. The prototype is said to be a better fit for female space travelers. NASA hopes to have the updated suit ready for the Artemis Iowa mission to the moon in 2025. Welcome back to another episode from the Cloud Boss. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you never missed another upload. The existing spacesuits worn by U.S. space travelers have not been fully redesigned since 1981. When NASA announced that humanity would return to the moon after more than five decades, they promised to send the first woman and person of color to the lunar surface. But previous plans to send female astronauts to space have been scuppered by the lack of spacesuits in their size. A well-fitting suit is crucial to prevent excessive fatigue and, at worst, physical harm. In 2019, NASA had planned to send an entirely female team of astronauts to complete a spacewalk from the International Space Station. But just days before Anne McLean and Christina Koch were due to depart on the walk, NASA realized they didn't have two spacesuits in the correct size for both women, and McLean had to be replaced by colleague Nick Haig. NASA now believes the new design will overcome these problems and meet some of the challenges posed by the Artemis Iowa mission to the moon due to liftoff in 2025. The key requirement of a spacesuit is to provide oxygen at the right pressure to the astronauts, which allow them to survive in the near vacuum of space. This aspect requires careful design, as failure would see an astronaut's lungs rapidly expand, causing death. We have a lot of tough requirements on this suit, said Larry Kearney, manager of NASA's spacesuit and rovers team, at today's demonstration of the new design. The moon is a hostile place, and the South Pole is really going to be a challenge. A lot of thermal requirements, we are looking for improved mobility so our astronauts can operate more efficiently. Based company Axiom Space won a 190 million pounds contract last year to design the suits and now six months later, they've revealed the first prototype. In contrast to previous suits, the new Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit XEMU spacesuit has joints stitched in to provide the astronauts with more flexibility. It also sports inbuilt lights in the helmet. These features are crucial as the astronauts will be required to survey geology, retrieve samples, and collect other data to further our understanding of the moon's south polar region. The helmet also comes with an HD video camera to allow videos from the moon to be watched in high definition back on Earth. The new space boots should be able to withstand the freezing temperatures that are found in the permanently shadowed regions of the lunar surface. The suits will be made using advanced manufacturing methods, including 3D printers and laser cutters to ensure exact measurements. The prototype is part of a dollar one bin investment by NASA to get two flight-ready spacesuits in time for the moon mission. In 2021, the space agency revealed it had already spent $420 million on spacesuit development internally, but was struggling to see results, so took the decision to commission the private sector to continue the work. Mike Suffredini, Axum Space President and CEO, said in a statement that Axum Space's Artemis IUI spacesuit will be ready to meet the complex challenges of the lunar south pole and help grow our understanding of the moon in order to enable a long-term presence there. The spacesuits will undergo further testing at NASA's Johnson Space Center's Neutral Buoyancy Lab over the next year before Artemis IUI launches in 2025.